This is the fun part. This is what I was looking forward to showing you guys. It's all these amazing people that joined in to help make this song possible, singing the huge chorus. Let's go over here. Where is it? We are the dreamers. This night could last forever. Escape from all your fears. Here, Chelsea. Oceanside 85, you can hear Blake Carpenter. And then uh, over here, let's hear these. Oh yeah, that's where the, the bulk of the vocals are. We are the dreamers. We are the dreamers. Nice. Here, Power Rob, Von Kaiser, Lau is in there. Bunny X, Star Madman is in there. Atomic Pines is in there. Um, I should really open up the list, but finding that list, that's the not-so-fun part. Uh, but yeah, a lot of amazing people on there. As you can see, I have Vox Power. Let's hear that, because that's Power Rob just doing his thing. We are the dreamers. Nice. It's pretty awesome. And this one, I think this is Von Kaiser and the other gang. We are the dreamers. Yep. We are the dreamers. So that's Von Kaiser and Lau, Atomic Pines, Chelsea of Oceanside 85, Blake Carpenter, uh, Bunny X. We are the dreamers. Oh, yeah. The... Um, Sunset Surrender. He sang some vocals on here too. We are the dreamers. We are the dreamers. Yeah, pretty cool. As you can see, just adding some delay and carving out a couple of frequencies on the, with Fab Filter. Let's see, what's this one? Right here. Oh, System Glitch. Bobby of System Glitch, of course. We are the dreamers. We are the dreamers. Nice. And then here he's saying throughout. This chance, don't let it go. Pretty awesome. And even the pre course I want to say, did he sing? In the days, yep. in the night, searching to be One night could change forever. We'll drive into the sun. This chance. Of course, this is not the final mix. Uh, this may have been the one that ended up on um, the Aztec compilation. Um, but yeah, as you can see, all kinds of cool people on here. Super, just blew me away. I was super happy and thankful. They all decided to say, hey, yeah, let's do this. And, you know, I wanted We Are the World version of Synthwave. Synthwave version of world, We Are the World. My original plan was to actually have people doing the di different people doing the verses, which actually kind of ended up happening in Michael Vo Michael Vocals, uh, which kind of ended up happening as Michael Oakley start, uh, sang the vocals in the verse. But initially, what I really wanted to do is I had planned Ollie Ride, Michael Oakley, and a couple other people to sing the verses. And just break it up. Like different they all would have each one would have a line, kinda like we are the world. And the course would be the way it turned out, which is just all these people together. Uh that's what I originally wanted, but it was really difficult to do, you know, to get not only the people together to do what they did do, but to also do the music video as well. So I had to make some sacrifices unfortunately ollie was just way too busy at that time he was going on tour all this stuff was happening so he he had to decline and um a few other people had to decline as well um really wanted to get i forget who it was that i had asked but yeah there was a lot of people on the list that i had written out that i was asked and ended up sending messages to everybody i could think of and still ended up with a bunch of amazing people so i'm super happy about that but yeah there you go uh oh yeah real quick let's let's hear this ending because i love love this part so much um 
Ja. love that just hearing all those people singing in harmony is just so rewarding like yeah like listen this is a star mad man we are the dreamers such a cool voice love we her voice. Are the dreamers. Uh, that's so cool i love that listen to that the dreamers. so perfect so you have that music is exciting and then you have Bobby doing his the thing. Dreamer, the oh yeah, Bobby did some harmonies with himself as well to, to f- help fill it up. So thank you for that, Bobby. We are the dreamers. Nice. And uh We are the dreamers. Power Rob. And of course Von Kaiser Lau, Bunny X, and Sunset Surrender, Oceanside 85. Tons of people on there. We are the dreamers. We are the dreamers. We are the dreamers. We are the dreamers. Okay, let's let's hear it together now, cause it's awesome. We are the dreamers. pretty cool not completely mixed like i said um but in the context it still works we are the dreamers we are the dreamers we are the dreamers nice so there you have it folks and one more session to go i know this is long definitely had to break it up in two parts but uh yeah, this it's fun. Speaking of, let's see, just real quick here. Where is my vocals? So you can hear it raw. At the time, I think I had an SSL um, interface. Let's see what it sounds like with nothing on it. Let's make this thing dry. Let's see what this bad boy sounds like with nothing on it. Reaching for the stars one night. Could change forever We'll drive far from the world This chance, don't let it go We are the dreamers There you go Reaching for the stars One night could change forever We'll drive far from the world This chance, don't let it go we are the dreamers there you have it all right on to the last final session here now this is the one that michael oakley mixed and like i say i don't have a majority of the effects that he used so unfortunately we won't be able to look into that and see what settings and all that good stuff but we will at least get to see his layout and uh how he organizes organizes things and stuff like that, and that's cool. And get a peek into how he condensed everything. And, uh, yeah, here it is. Here it is, folks. As you can see, he has the effects all organized here, like the risers and the booms and whatnot, the drums, all here. And uh, since I'd already... You know, some stuff I had already mixed and sent to him. He didn't have to do some of that. But some of that he already had mixed his, himself. And uh, this is just like the final project. So there was another one that he had where he had added some effects and then would bounce that down and then send it into this project. So we don't necessarily get to see all the effects that he used on this kind of stuff. But as you can see, he did use some cool stuff here. Um, claps and whatnot. As you can see here, I do not have Seventh Heaven Professional. I think it's a reverb. 
but he definitely praises it, or he did it this time. So I'm curious about it. I'd like to try it out someday. Glue compression. The bus here, the base bus. Oh, here it is. Mog EQ2 uh, plug-in alliance, what I was talking about earlier. I don't have this one. I have the EQ4, I think. But I love this. Plug-in alliance, VSM3. Highly recommend it if you like something to add warmth. Even some presence. Nice saturation. Glue compressor on the bus. Let's see what's going on with the bass. Mog EQ. VSM3. Here we go. Now, let's hear it. Start here. Oh, yeah. So Michael went in and added a sub bass. And that's one of the things I was talking about earlier about, you know, why isn't my mix sound as professional? And it just, you know, from tips from people like Oakley and videos and stuff like that, realizing that, you know, check your bass and make sure you have enough body going on, enough fullness in that area, because that's what really fills it up. And without that, it can seem really weak and empty. So yeah, add a sub bass. As you can see, he just found a nice bass that he liked and uh, one that had a nice bottom end. Um, serum, here we go. You know, it's not saying what it is. Okay, it's just the initialized sound from Serum. So yeah, if you could use whatever bass sounds good. Low, what gives you the low end you're looking for. And then, of course, he just EQ'd out all that high end uh, above 100 hertz. Because all you need is the sub. And added some EQ. Some more EQ here. Yeah, sometimes I know you producers out there and songwriters know this. we do this a lot. Is we'll add all these plugins and then realize that wait we're not even using this pl particular plugin that happens a lot and then all oftentimes we'll go wait a minute why do I have this plugin on here again you just start adding plugins and then start tweaking with ones and when you get the sound you like sometimes you just forget to take it off and there you go here's another one so this is more the mid range as you can see he has 100 hertz region, 200 in that region, just to kind of give you that part of the bass. And same thing again. Um, and then of course together, just gives you the body of the bass. And then you just add that on top of that which is the original bass that I'd used, which is more of the poly synth, poly six bass, and uh, typical in synth wave. Definitely hear that a lot, but it's a nice bass. I, I, I can totally understand why people love it. Uh, okay, guitars. Oh yeah, um, Mike Oakley had his friend do some guitar. Uh, acoustic just to kind of fill in some of the chords and the you know the chord changes really nice so you added some uh, saturation some EQ yeah getting some 3k in there taking out all the low the low 60 hertz basically um, now, chorus, nice chorus. If you don't have it, it's free. You can download it from their site. Beautiful chorus. Wow, acoustic guitar is just so beautiful. Um, and then the clean guitar is here. Let's see what I'm gonna do in here. Oh yeah, yeah, the melody and a few chord rings. Course, bringing out some chords there. A 
Love that melody. Um, distorted guitars. Okay, yeah. The layered guitars. And you hear that weird phasing. Well, that's on purpose. That's uh, side chaining going on. You know, certain parts where the guitar needs to be ducked because it doesn't need to override the vocals or whatnot during certain parts. So that's why you'll hear that weird... Like I said earlier, a lot of stuff solo doesn't sound that great. But in the context of a full mix, it just works. And so it's one another lesson I learned is don't rely so much on soloing your tracks and mixing them that way. It's okay to solo and check. Um, sometimes it works that way. Sometimes you'll solo it and mix. Boom, there it is and it works in the mix. But always check your full mix first and then you'll know like, okay, I need to go back to the drawing board or I need to add a little more of this or a little less of this. Since here we go. And he added some overall saturation. And here's all the synths condensed here, grouped together. And if you go through here, he didn't add a whole lot of stuff some stuff he didn't add anything at all just mainly like you'll find some EQ just to cut out the low end that we don't need in synths save room for your basses and your kick drum right here we go so this sound here the chaos arp we did utilize the uh, the chorus and the the delay there let's hear that as a matter of fact that's uh, right here Well, if I could line this thing up. There we go. <laughs> yeah. There you have it. Pianos. Okay, just some saturation and cutting out some low end. Oh, we didn't cut out low end. I guess he figured, oh, wait, it sounds fine. Okay, probably just on the individual tracks. Yeah, see, blow about 200 hertz. We didn't need that for the pianos. And you'll hear a lot of stuff, like some of the lead sounds and the bell sounds and the piano sound, the melodies, are doing the same thing. And when you do that and layer all of it together, it's it really works really well. It's just when you're playing all these different things with all these different sounds, it can start to get muddy and not sound very good. But if you're going to layer and you want something emphasized, like a really nice melody, in, in this case, in this song, like I was showing you earlier about the vocals being emphasized with some synth melodies, it can be really good to layer like a piano, a bell sound, a lead sound, and have them do the same melody, and it just kind of really stands out in the mix. can hear like a little bit different melody than the chorus but it just kind of I don't even know what you would call that where it just kind of like makes it feel urgent and just like it's it just keeps going right like life just keep going through life dun, 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 dun. so like an arp I guess uh, ostinato yeah it's really cool just to watch things uh, kind of build up into one beautiful thing and that's what's great about music and why i love music so much is every part matters and sometimes one part might do more than the other part or be louder but it's those other little parts with it that make that main thing shine whether it's the vocals or some main keyboard melody a guitar solo you know certain things just layering it can really bring it out and it's definitely one thing that 
I definitely urge anybody to do if you feel like your mixes just aren't, you know, satisfying you or you feel like something's missing. Start layering and emphasizing certain melodies, certain notes. Uh, start with, you know, try your best to start with the sound that just works with the mix from the start. I think if you can do that first, it's it's always best to just go, okay, make a little static mix of your song, listen to it, and if it sounds good, and it's like, you know what, this sounds really good, it just needs this and this and maybe some effects, then you're on the right track. Yeah, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching and spending all this time with me. Um, I really was looking forward to this. I wanted to do this earlier, just been so busy. Um, but as you can see, yeah, Michael Oakley's mix. I, I love how simple he keeps it, how clean he keeps his uh, mix session. But it's fun. You know, I'm glad that you're, like I said, tuning in to watch this and seeing behind the scenes. And I'll do more of these. Uh, I think these are fun. And uh, if you really enjoyed watching this hit the like button subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you so much for watching I, I really enjoy hanging out with you all and there's definitely more to come a lot more new singles coming out some synthwave stuff some newer stuff like I'm, I'm experimenting with uh, you know alternative indie and pop and rock music so I look forward to showing you all the new music and new music video coming soon ocean soul it will be my first single from my other project ocean and the stars can't wait to show you but yeah thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you soon